The vast majority of men with metastatic prostate cancer have bone metastases, and most men who pass away from prostate cancer do so because of those bone metastases, so it's a very pressing problem, leading cause of the morbidity of this disease. Osteomimicry is an idea that prostate cancer cells become like bone-forming cells, and that may explain their particular tendency to spread to the bone. It's been validated in preclinical models of prostate cancer, where prostate cancer tumor cells can actually become like bone-forming cells, but has not been validated clinically. And we sought to validate that in a, a, a small study of patients undergoing radium-223 therapy, where we would do bone biopsies as well as circulating tumor cell biopsies from these men and follow them over time. And what we observed was clear evidence of osteomimicry in the circulating tumor cells. And that was accompanied by a really interesting finding was enhanced radium uptake in the areas of the tumor cells directly in the bone, which suggests that this osteomimicry may in part explain how radium works in the bone to improve survival. Osteomimicry right now is a observation. We don't yet understand its underlying molecular mechanisms. One of the things that we sought to identify was how does this osteomimicry occur? First, we found evidence of alkaline phosphatase, a bone marker expression in the tumor, but we also found genetic evidence of extra copies of genes that regulate the factors of osteomimicry itself in the tumor. So there were several genes that are classically osteoblastic genes that were aberrantly expressed in the tumor cells themselves. And so that suggests some novel pathways that may be targetable for therapies. Uh, to delay or prevent bone metastases. So if you can develop drugs that block osteomimicry pathways, this form of plasticity, this cellular plasticity, is really important in promoting metastasis itself. So if the goal is to prevent metastasis and thus the fatal outcome, uh, this suggests a way forward. It's certainly a challenge to treat men with metastases. Bone metastases are a intrinsically resistant area uh, where it's been very difficult to eradicate the tumor from the bone. Many patients have responses to androgen receptor inhibitor therapy like apalutamide or enzalutamide, abiraterone, chemotherapy, but bone metastases are particularly refractory. So understanding the biology of bone metastasis may allow us to develop strategies that can prevent that in the first place. We had several findings that support osteomimicry. One is that bone alkaline phosphatase is expressed in the tumor cells directly, and we found heterogeneous evidence of this in patients, and that these circulating tumor cells bearing this hallmark of osteomimicry persisted despite the radium-223. So even though patients had a decline in their serum bone markers and had a response to the therapy and a palliative benefit, most patients did progress and this osteomimicry persisted despite a bone targeting therapy. We also found genetic evidence. So the circulating tumor cells we isolated, we were able to extract the DNA and find that compared with the germline, there were extra copies of key osteomimetic pathways. So these are pathways such as rank ligand or osteopontin uh, that regulate osteomimicry itself.